for those coming home are mixed with tears of sorrow for those who did not make it back. In May, Captain Brian Latendre was killed while conducting combat operations. In August, 24-year-old Lance Corporal Kurt Dechen was on foot patrol when he was killed. Just two weeks before the unit was due to come home, Lance Corporal Christopher Cosgrove was killed earlier this month. And in April, 21-year-old, uh, I'm sorry, yes, Corporal Jordan Pearson was killed by small arms fire. Now, I'm here right now with the Lopez Crusales family who are very happy to be welcoming home Corporal Calvin Crusales after seven months in Iraq. Calvin, tell me, what was it like for you to have to continue you your mission, you were best friends with Jordan Pearson. What was it like for you? How did you do that? It was hard. Uh, we carried the heavy burden in us. We lost a great friend. Um, good friend, good... We had a great relationship. He was like a brother to us. To all of us. To all of us in Charlie Company. All of them, all the ones we lost. And uh, just want to let everyone know that we pushed on with the great leadership that we had. And we'll always be remembered and we'll always love them. We'll always keep them in our hearts. And I want to thank everyone who supported us. Um, Mayor Eddie Perez, my family, Belen, my mom, Belen Lopez, my dad, Eli Lopez, my son, and everyone everyone who supported all of us and everyone here. Just thank you. We just, I'm finally glad to be home. Finally, really, really glad to be home. Thank you. Right. This was your second tour, so I understand that, uh, you know, in all likelihood, you will not be recalled for at least another five years, but uh, reconsider maybe individually going back on your own? Uh, right now, it's undecided, being as I just got home. Yeah. I miss my son for his uh, full year. Uh, right now, it's undecided, but you never know. The future holds a lot for all of us. Right. This family, just one of so many celebrating tonight, but also with, you know, a sad heart as well, thinking of those who did not make it back. We are live in Hartford. I'm Lori Perez, Fox 61 News at 10.